flat to the petrol we bought before, which is made out of steel mesh. But the radio signals, it looks opaque, but it is a perfect reflector to radio signals. At the other end, there is a parabolic reflector, which is curved both vertically and horizontally, and it has the same screen mesh on it as this reflector, although you can't see that from here. And in between is this large field, which is three acres of concrete, paved over with asphalt, with heavy-duty aluminum foil glued onto the top of it. That's called the ground plane. The way that the telescope works, signals come down from the sky, so suppose we're looking at the sun right up there. They hit the flat reflector, they bounce off that, they travel horizontally over the ground plane to the parabolic reflector, which focuses them, sort of like a shaving mirror or something, onto those things that are sitting right out in the middle over there. Those things that look like scoops. We gather up the radio signals and direct them under the ground, beneath this ground plane where the receivers and computers are located. We'll go into that room a little later in the floor. That's the secret underground laboratory that you all have wondered about. Its main purpose is to keep down the radiation from the ground. The telescope is so sensitive that it will pick up radio signals from anything that are not at absolute zero, including our bodies. I mean, you didn't know it, but your body is a transmitter at all wavelengths. So is the ground, and so is anything that's around us. So even though those horn antennas, which I call scoops before, are directed that way, still, sort of out of the corners of their eyes, they see the rest of the world weakly. And that would generate a great deal of noise and interference. And we don't want that, so this reflector is here to keep the rim ground radiation down so it can't get out. So will we be a blip on that for today? Yes. You'll have to There's a rabbit going across the reflector. <laughs> <laughs>